Well, as far as crop insurance, the outlook for 2024, there's really no significant changes to the policy, which I look at as a, as a positive because we can focus on the tools that are available and how they're going to work on each individual operation. Part of the reason that we're not seeing a lot of changes to crop insurance for 24 is because we're waiting on a farm bill to be completed. And as the farm bill lingers before completion, they really don't like to make a lot of huge changes because there could be things that are intertwined in the farm bill and crop insurance where we could see improvements or enhancements to the safety net and crop insurance later, but we're gonna have to wait on a farm bill to do that. Even though there are no significant changes to the crop insurance policies, every year it will change based on the Chicago Board of Trade and the futures markets. Last year, as we were getting ready for the 23 crop year, we had December corn around 590, and this year when we look at that December of 24 corn contract, we're around 480. So that's a significant drop and expected revenue that folks are having to deal with. And the same is true on beans on that slide from the highs of 23 down to where we're at going into 24, which makes the crop insurance choice and knowing your break even and really pushing the pencil to know what do I need to cover my expenses, to cover my marketing plan through crop insurance and other sources more important than ever. Fortunately, for a lot of operations here in Northwest Ohio in particular, we're coming off of three to four years of well above average yields. And so those yields go into the 10-year database for crop insurance, they're trend adjusted. So we're seeing the guarantees and the averages on a farm going up time over time. And now, even though the market is down on the Chicago Board of Trade, the yields that farms and operations have around here are trending up. So that can help mitigate some of the um, increased costs that we're seeing out there. Um, I, I would say that what we're seeing right now, maybe cash rent isn't going up as much. Some of the input costs are, are flat to maybe trending down. So that can kind of help offset the lower markets that we're seeing on the Board of Trade. But the other thing that's really helping is these high yields that guys have been able to put into their 10 year history over the last three to four years is helping their value that they get out of the crop insurance policy go better. And because of the lower markets, the cost of crop insurance will also go down with it. The higher yield won't affect it in a negative way for what they're gonna pay for their crop insurance. That actually you're just getting more coverage for the same dollar spent. But when the value on the Board of Trade goes down, the crop insurance cost goes down. So I, I anticipate that we're gonna be looking at potentially considering higher levels of coverage for guys because the increase in cost for the insurance won't be as bad. And just to make sure that they are covering that bottom line is so critical. Looking at 24 and trying to project ahead is, you know, it can be difficult. It's like trying to project the Cincinnati Reds season this year. It looks good going into February, but we'll see where we're at come October. But, you know, certainly, unfortunately, the trend, at least in the market side of it, is kind of negative. We're, we're seeing the Board of Trade prices trending down. So I think what we're going to see is operations, I really do believe, will be focusing very hard on their break even and what are they doing to maximize their yield and is their marketing plan, uh, do they have a plan in place where it's not, okay, I'm gonna harvest everything and then I'll look at what it costs later and what I can sell it for. I think guys are gonna be penciling consistently or constantly throughout the year and saying, okay, am I above my break even? How does my crop look going into the year? Because 24 it looks like it's gonna be a, a year where the margins are gonna be significantly tighter than what they were in say 23, 22, 21, which is just part of agriculture. You know, I, the one thing I think that is amazing about all of agriculture and the producers we work with, they work through and live through the cycles and they find a way to thrive no matter the condition. This year it does look like that condition will be a little more challenging than it has been though the last few. And because of the challenges that we, we we're facing right now heading into the 24 growing season, it is probably going to be more critical than ever that each operation has that trusted team around them. And that's not one person who is an expert in all things, which is very difficult to do, but it is the 
the, the crop insurance agent understanding your operation, understanding your costs and what's going in and how they can mitigate that risk. You're gonna to need to really know and trust your ag lender and the Citizens National Bank has an outstanding team of lenders to really help with that. And the Citizens Bankers really understanding agriculture, knowing what's going on with the current interest rates and the interest environment and how that's gonna affect the operation. It's the agronomist, it's the seed dealer. It is going to be a team approach. And I think communication between the, the operation and those trusted sources around him is, is more crucial in a, in a trending or tight market that we're seeing in 24 maybe than it had been in years where in 21, 22, and 23 in an up cycle there was more room for air or more margin for air going into a year like 24 knowing that you have that trusted team around you of, of the bank in particular lender, the crop insurance agent, your, your agronomist, your seed dealer, all of those things are going to be very, very important to thrive in a challenging environment that 24 looks like it could be. I think a good reason to have that trusted team and so many sources is because there's so many factors that are affecting our grain market. If you just look in the last two years, the Russia-Ukraine problem has, has affected the grain markets here in the United States. So it's good to have somebody on that team that understands how the international things can affect the grain market. South America we've known to look at for years, but now it goes beyond South America. Now we're looking at Russia, Ukraine, China. There are so many factors that go into the grain market that having somebody on that team that can really advise and give sound advice on how that can also affect any farming operation is gonna be crucial for 24. We've actually had that. I mean, the Ukraine-Russia situation may have, or is, I would say, broadly considered to have positively kept our markets maybe inflated a little more than they would have been otherwise. But because of that, you could call it a black swan event, but, but whatever you want to call it, that did affect our markets and it helped our markets. But now it becomes, okay, we've kind of absorbed that. What's the next event that can affect the markets? Because without that event, the trend is, is, is downward, unfortunately, but there could be something out there that we just don't know and we need to be on the lookout for anything in the world that could affect our grain markets or change the course of what we think is happening right now for 24. Certainly since doing this since 1997, we've had more down grain markets in my time than we have up times. Uh, the positive that I see that I'm so encouraged is uh, as we sit in these meetings today and as I sit down with operations, it is the same operations that I've worked with for over 20 years now. They know how to navigate these tough times. They know how to get through and not only uh, survive, but in some cases thrive. And I'm looking forward to that again. And I know that because of the trusted team around a number of these folks, that they are going to make it and they are going to be able to get through this and weather this and be more prepared for the next trend where things are moving upward again.